wasn't doing it. I apologize. I had to do what I had to do. I refuse to have lost that great interview with Tyler just now through the connectivity or the internet. Again, I say to anybody who's connected with BTC or Life, they need to rectify this problem. I'm, ta I'm paying for top-notch um, uh, Wi-Fi and data service. Uh, I pay over $300 a month, and this thing disconnected. And I think our country needs to do better. If people could do it around the world, we should be able to do it here. But uh, we're going to get back into the question and answer period. With Tyler. So, you know what? I think I'm going to start doing this. We're going to do the first half of the interview, cut it, and then do the next half of the questions. But um, I got, don't stop blaming me. Y'all stop. You know, got to be leaders, boy. Don't be. <laughs> why you want to blame the man wearing black? What that is? Look what happened around the world, man. Why blame the man wearing black? We had a question, ladies. We, uh, I think it was uh, Yurik. Yurik had said a question. Yurik, I'm going to ask you kindly to put your question back in there. I closed out that one so we wouldn't lose it. And we'll just go into Q&A here, Tyler. So if Yurik is in here, did you see his question before we close? Yeah, he was, he was asking about my time, what I expect, what I expect. To run oh, this. so yeah, answer it, answer it. So what, what do you, um, what, what are your expectations for this new season? Especially after COVID, right? Yeah, my coach. What time? My coach. He expecting. He said for the fifteen, he want me. He wanted me to try to get on the four minutes. Okay. Yeah, but I ain't really trying to put no time on myself because, you know, if you don't get the time, you get disappointed. Then you don't know how fast you could go. So, I just follow his training, try to execute and whatever time I get. Then that's what I bless with. Okay, and as we wait for more questions, a question I have is um, who who do you? Who's your role model inside track and field? Who do you think of or who do you want to be like, if, if anybody? Uh, I ain't really want to be like nobody, but my role model is my brother. Okay. Because he could beat you running. Uh, I know. I know. I like his drive. <laughs> yeah, I see a couple of videos right. with my coach, too. Yeah. What uh, what have you learned about your coach? I have heard things about that, and I won't say because uh, we have a show this Saturday. But um, what have you learned about your coach and him as an athlete? My coach got a lot of pace, and uh, he like a father figure. But he like he like a father figure and a brother, because you could talk to him on like either ends of the stick. He cool. He got a lot of patience, but he just once once you doing your work, he's academic and athletic wise. He ain't really for that soft stuff. So, once you, once you, I remember. Oh, you come in to wow. do business. Yeah. I'm gonna touch. I'm gonna touch something. I'm gonna touch something. Um, the Miami Invitational, Coach Rule pulls everybody before breakfast at the pool, and he is giving you all a rowing out this world. How was that? I, I know that's the time he had to be a disciplinarian a little bit, but. Because I think what had happened was people were jumping the gun or something like that. Like, we were the only university. It's, it's recorded, so this isn't nothing new. But we were the only ones who athletes were getting eliminated every race because everybody jumped in the race. And he got on you guys. Talk about that, that pool session, what happened to change the game. I believe it's me. I believe it's Tyler Yard. Since this thing pause, he can see this. It's him. It's his network. He ain't gonna talk about my ma network. His network. Just want y'all know that. He could come back soon. You're at a pool session. I I had just walked in. I had walked into the pool session, Eric, um, when y'all was at we was at the holiday inn. And Coach Roll had pulled everybody to the pool. And he was like, on y'all, bro. Uh, you remember that? I don't know. I remembered it because I wanted to record it, but he actually told me on a serious level. He was like, I don't need no recording right now. Ran, I need to get my team together. And that was, I think, his first maybe month or two. Say not every race. Edna, I apologize. We could talk about it um, this Saturday. We'll talk about it this Saturday. We'll talk about that. That's one of my, my challenging questions. I don't want to let you know, but now you know. Now you can prepare. I'm working with you. I'm here for you. But uh, that was our interview with Tyler.
I'm gonna try to invite him one more time. We can take one more hit at it. But um, he love <laughs> to over exaggerate. Why, Chris? You about to be on the show next? I get Chris next. Tyler, I was saying nothing but good things about you. I just want you to know that. No matter Ren, what they say. Ren, I don't know if it's my Wi-Fi or if it's your Wi-Fi. Listen, none of us have a wife, but you know where he's around here, but don't worry about that, but <laughs> don't worry about that. <laughs> but anyway, uh, let's keep dropping questions. We'll stay for another uh, maybe three to four minutes for any new questions. But again, I put the first half of this interview on IG already. So this is just the Q&A session. Uh... No, man. They say you say it's my Wi-Fi. <laughs> you say it with a name like Chris Swiss. Come on. Come on, bro. Like, who you can believe? Chris, Chris Swiss. Is my, Chris is my boy, but you was my boy, too. So. I respect, man. I, I feel a little younger just now. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, man. Any questions? We're waiting on questions for Tyler, but uh, he shared a lot. Uh how was your college experience, bro? Like, was, did you be made your expectations of what college is supposed to be? Yeah, it, it, I really, I, I was expecting college to be like something like high school, but without the uniform, but it's, it's not like the environment, it's really different. Tell us about some of the benefits. Um, from what, what do you feel that a student athlete, especially a track and field student athlete, what do you feel that we do for you that makes the college experience better? Uh, I'd say tutors, a lot of tutors, because there's a lot of athletes out there who really can't keep up with the work and athletic. So they make sure we got tutors and study all hours or whatever. Because in high school, they ain't trying to force you to do that. You know what I mean? They, they just want you, some of them just want you to run. But college did make sure you're keeping them grades and you compete. Mm -hmm. We can still hear you. We can still hear you. The camera just slow. And Coach Roll, I saw your comments. I explain it. Coach Roll, I wasn't... We'll talk about the this Saturday. I know you're a man, you're a leader. Uh, so what about the benefits, Tyler? The benefits. What, what do we do for... Let, let the audience, let any young person listening. What do we do for our track athletes at the University of the Bahamas? <laughs> <laughs> Coach Rose, Coach Rose said it before you said it. That's it's funny. Ah, uh, that is funny. That is funny. I don't, I don't know who network it is. I don't know who network it is. You're moving, so it's I, your network now. You moving? Like it's on you. Let me Oh man, but now you're vegan. Now you're vegan, right? You can't keep, listen, you blaming me, but notice I ain't never move. I ain't never move. You moving around. It's you. So, now that you're vegan, now that you're vegan, now that you're vegan, yeah, yeah, man. That's, that's, what that's are you going to be doing about this meal plan? Boy, I ain't really, I, I ain't really too sure. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta keep my, I got to keep my discipline on that because I like to eat. My coach can tell you I like to eat. I can put it down. So what, what do you think you're getting from the calf? Day one calf open up. What do you think you'll be ordering? Listen, if we disconnect one more time, it's your network. But what do you think you're ordering first day in the calf? Probably like a, a lot of my... First day in the calf, I probably probably get like like a veggie wrap or, or a salad or something with something. Every time the calf of veggie wraps? Yeah. Never heard of it. I gotta try it out. What about breakfast? What you getting for breakfast? I don't know, probably veggie omelet. Veggie nah, omelet. Nah, omelet. What of, I like uh, to eat. What I no, eat. the egg, the egg of meat, egg of meat. Egg come from um, chicken, eh? You can't eat egg. Boy, I, eat, I, I still eat that veggie. 
a GM next. <laughs> so you you ain't giving up egg. That's what you're trying to say. You ain't giving up no egg. What? I can't. I can't give that up. I give real chicken, but I can't the egg. Get it out of waffles. They like waffles. The last fair, man. Really well, Tyler, um, we know that the network is going in and out. But the last thing I would say is I'm going to speak to my good friend, Miss Cash. And we're going to see if we can get some non-cholesterol egg white inside the cafeteria just to help you. You know, the ones that ain't really from the chicken. Just for you. Just yeah, so, your, so your meal plan and your time can increase. But ladies and gentlemen, I know we have on a choppy network today, but this has been in your off season. Um, thank you, Tyler Gardner, for sharing his story. Of course, we would know the first, the one you're going to see on the page is actually the second version. He did a beautiful first version where I think he mentioned a lot of stuff that we tried to highlight in a second, but we didn't catch it. But Tyler, any last words before we close for today? I mean, it was a pleasure being on the live. And I'd say whatever, like any student athlete watching or whatever, just stay in your books. I say stay in athletics, stay focused. A lot of distractors, so try to keep your head in the game. That's it. Thank you so much. This has been off season with Tyler Gardner. It's going to be on the page. And we'll see you this Saturday where we're finishing off our track week and we're talking to the head coach, the university's first ever head coach for the UB track field and cross country, Mr. Edna Rule. See you this Saturday, but also tune in at 6 p.m. on Zoom where Coach Rule is going to be literally working Tyler bod. For him, all his talking he's doing, he could work Tyler hip hard. I want, I want Logan to see that. Always. He'd be like, yeah, Tyler. Yeah, Tyler, you want to eat some egg? <laughs> huh. Lift them up. <laughs> it could be funny. It could be funny. Anyway, lo log in at 6. You want to catch, you'll be track fit. But again, see you this Saturday. At